a quiet hangar in Russia, a lone technician stands beside two fighters, one familiar, the Su-57, and another never seen before. Hours later, a single photo appears on Russian social media, posted by the United Aircraft Corporation. The world takes notice, because in that image lies something extraordinary. The first real glimpse of Russia's new fifth-generation fighter, the Su-75 Checkmate. That image, captured from what experts believe to be the Komsomolsk on Amur aircraft plant, or Kainayaz, Russia's most advanced fighter jet production hub, was the world's first confirmed photograph of the Su-75 Checkmate. And just like that, the quiet rumor of Russia's single-engine stealth fighter had suddenly become a tangible reality. Reports soon followed. Insiders within Russia's aerospace industry revealed that the Su-75 prototype is already undergoing limited ground testing, with the first flight expected by late 2025 or early 2026. After years of speculation and uncertainty, Moscow's long-promised answer to the F-35 Lightning II had finally taken form. To understand the checkmate, we must first look at its origin, the Su-57 Felon. The Su-57, originally known as the T-50 under Russia's PAK-FA program, first flew in 2010. It was Russia's long-awaited answer to America's F-22 Raptor, a fifth-generation stealth fighter that could combine speed, stealth, agility, and heavy firepower. But developing the Su-57 was a monumental challenge. Years of financial strain, technological hurdles, and sanctions slowed the program. Only a handful of Su-57s entered Russian service by 2020, far fewer than Moscow had promised. Yet amid those challenges, Sukhoi's engineers began dreaming of something leaner, faster to produce, and cheaper. A jet that could do what the American F-35 does, but at a fraction of the cost. That dream became the Su-75 Checkmate, a single-engine stealth fighter unveiled in 2021 at the MAX Air Show near Moscow. With dramatic music, a smoke-filled stage, and President Putin himself in attendance, Sukhoi introduced the Checkmate as the fighter that changes the rules. But after that grand debut, silence. No test flights, no prototypes, no updates. Many thought the Checkmate was dead. Another concept lost in the fog of sanctions and war, until now. The Su-75 Checkmate is built around one key idea, affordable stealth. It uses a single Isdeli 30 engine, the same next-generation power plant developed for the Su-57. This engine promises Mach 1.8 top speed, 3,000 kilometers combat radius, and a payload capacity of 7.4 tons. It's equipped with internal weapon bays to maintain a low radar cross-section and features stealth-optimized intakes, radar-absorbing coatings, and edge-aligned surfaces similar to Western fifth-generation designs. Sukhoi claims it can carry air-to-air -air missiles like the R-77 and R-74, precision-guided bombs, and even future hypersonic weapons. The cockpit, based on the Su-57's digital architecture, includes augmented reality displays, advanced fly-by-wire controls, and optional unmanned operation, giving the Checkmate the potential to fly as a drone fighter in future variants. The active electronically scanned array, AESA radar, gives it advanced detection capability, rivaling early variants of the F-35. The aircraft also carries infrared search and track, IRST systems allowing it to silently detect heat signatures without emitting radar, perfect for hunting stealth jets. But perhaps the boldest promise lies in its price. Russia claims the Su-75 will cost around $25 to $30 million per unit, a staggering figure when compared to the F-35's $80 to $100 million price tag. If true, this would make the Checkmate the cheapest fifth-generation stealth fighter in the world, Now let's put the checkmate into perspective. 
the American F-35 Lightning II dominates the skies as the most widely produced fifth-generation fighter. It's part of a massive ecosystem of sensors, data links, and stealth networks. Its strength lies not only in its stealth, but in data fusion and battlefield awareness, allowing pilots to see and strike before being seen. Then there's China's J-35, the stealth carrier-based fighter under development by Shenyang Aircraft Corporation. It's essentially China's answer to both the F-35 and Su-57, with twin engines and advanced radar systems. So where does the Su-75 stand? The Checkmate's advantage is its balance between affordability and performance. It's smaller and cheaper than the Su-57, but retains most of its stealth shaping and super maneuverability. Unlike the F-35, which prioritizes network warfare, the Su-75 focuses on raw dogfighting ability and long-range missile combat, the traditional Russian doctrine. If the F-35 is a flying data hub, the Su-75 is a hunter, designed to stalk, ambush, and kill with agility and firepower. Sukhoi claims the Checkmate will outperform the F-35 and even challenge the J-35 in close-range combat, especially when equipped with infrared search and track IRST sensors that allow passive target tracking, something Western fighters have recently been reintroducing. Let's imagine the Su-75 entering production. Operationally, the Checkmate would fill the gap between heavy twin-engine fighters like the Su-57 and legacy fourth-generation platforms like the Su-30 or MiG-29. It could serve as a frontline stealth escort, a strike fighter, or even a carrier-based aircraft for future Russian naval aviation projects. And beyond that, the Su-75's modular design allows for AI-assisted combat, optional unmanned flight, and swarm integration features that align perfectly with the next generation of autonomous warfare. This is why the West is watching closely. Because if Russia actually manages to mass-produce the Checkmate, it won't just be a fighter jet, it'll be a geopolitical weapon. The appearance of this photo is more than just a social media curiosity. It's a strategic signal, and it comes at a critical time. For Russia, the Su-75 represents defiance, while sanctions and war strain the economy, Moscow wants to show that it can still innovate, that its aerospace industry hasn't been grounded. It's also a message to potential buyers, we're open for business. And for NATO, this is a moment to pay attention. If Russia successfully develops and exports the Su-75, it could flood the global market with affordable stealth fighters. Nations that can't buy the F-35, like Egypt, Vietnam, Algeria, and the UAE, might turn to Moscow. That would reshape global air power alliances and challenge the monopoly the U.S. currently enjoys in the fifth-generation fighter domain. Until then, that's all for today, and thanks for watching.